Hey, hey, hey. Uh, what, I, what I have here is probably more proof that I have no idea what I'm doing with, well, I mean, with anything, really. <laughs> uh, so what what is in this package is um, I found a seller on eBay who had $1 mystery packs. Um, so I got 10 of those and I got 10 of, he had a dollar 25 or dollar 50 mystery packs too. So I got 10 of those as well. And uh, yeah, and he, he sent me the things. So anyway, let's let's see what we can find in here. Uh, total, I spent you know, I don't know, thirty some odd dollars. Uh, does not give a deal on on shipping, which is kind of. Mm. But I get it, I get it. It's fine. All right, so we have four envelopes here, and. Uh, Start off with a Christian Yelich. Oh, okay, they're double sided. So, uh, Brees Hall on here, too. So, two cards in each top loader two, four, six, eight. So, that's ten cards in the first envelope. Octagon of Honor, uh, Chris Cyborg. It says five dollars there. I have no idea. I really don't pay attention to. Uh, um, yeah, Chris Warren, Gridiron Leader from 1995 Fleer. That's pretty cool. We got uh, Bailey defeats Alexa Bliss, retaining the NXT Women's Championship. And we got Joe Nemchek on the back there. A racing contender. And we got marquee rookies. Uh, this says 750 up there. Uh, Jack Hughes. Not familiar with Jack Hughes. On the back we have Will to Win Atia Attila Foyola. Sure. Sure. Rookie card, shiny mosaic there. We got a Joey Bart rookie card from Bowman. And Clayton Toon, new recruits. Did Clayton Toon get drafted? I think he did, but I don't really, maybe Arizona, maybe? I'm trying to remember, I don't, I don't remember. All right, envelope number two. Uh, John Gianelli. That's a pretty old basketball card there. Ryan Anderson. In prison. Sorry, I got some indigestion going on here. Something I don't know. Let me... No. Oh, these are in there tight. Good lord. Just motion these cards. See what year this is. That is a uh, that is green. I guess seventy eight, but okay, yeah, seventy seven, seventy eight, and this was an older prism too from fourteen fifteen. Interesting. All right. And we got uh, the champ, Jason Tatum, and Chris Mills, first round draft pick card from 93-94 Fleer Ultra. Got a David Robinson, NBA Attitude, NBA Titude, <laughs> from Fleer Ultra. It's a pretty sweet looking card. And a draft pick card of Dickie Simpkins from 1994 Top Stadium Club. Interesting. Nico Manon, uh, rookie card. And Scotty Pippen, USA Basketball on the back. That's pretty cool. We got an Ant-Man rookie card. I'll take that from Hoops. 
And on the back we have Brandon Clark. Just a base card, apparently. Maybe not, but I don't know. Looks like a base card to me. All right, so what do we have going on here? Sensational Swatches, Isaiah Livers, formerly of my Pistons. Is this numbered? And Jarrett Culver on the back there. Well, that is a variation of the uh, orange. All right, so Isaiah Livers, not numbered. Material is not associated with any specific player, game, or event. So it's you know, just a napkin from dinner. Okay. And Isaiah Livers, I have no idea where he's at anymore. Not with the Pistons. Um, we got Shaq. He's pretty sweet looking. Profiles from Icon Sports. Looks pretty cool. I'll take that one. And D'Angelo Russell on the back there. We got Honor Roll, Patrick Ewing. I do like that one too. And Larry Bird, the art card from Collectors or from Upper Deck. I always like these too. We got Luca from Prism. It's just a base. And Dennis Rodman on the back from 92 Tops. Unless it's from Archives or something. Now I gotta pull it out just to. Just to see. Just to check. Yep. From a 92-93 tops. Very nice. And this Luca is from 21-22. Prism. Alright. What else we got? Anthony Hardaway. Prospect card. Uh... And some Vince Carter on the back. Not too bad. Not too bad, really. Alright, last envelope. And I'll leave you guys alone. And this... That's a Nolan Ryan made to look like it's from 1968. I'm going to go ahead and take it out here. What do we got on the back? Aaron Donald. And this is from, I don't think I've ever seen this before. Uh, I'm not sure who makes this, but the design is made to look like uh, 1968 tops. But, yeah, I have no idea. It's produced in the 90s probably at 43 years of age. Nolan records victory number 300 in his sixth no hinder. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure what year it was produced or who produced it, but it's pretty sweet anyway. Can't complain about a Nolan Ryan card. I would not ever do that. Trevor Lawrence rookie card. T-Law's getting paid now. And Matt Williams record pace. It's a pretty cool special edition. Upper Deck Collector's Choice. We got Norm Cash on the 74 tops. Is that really what it's from? It better be. And we got Matt Forte on the back there. It's just kind of totally random stuff here, but we got Storm and Norman Cash. And yeah, from 74. We'll take that. Take that all day. All day long. Yeah. Must have noticed where I was ordering from because I uh, slipped in some Detroit themed stuff. Got Herman Moore autograph. I'll definitely take that. Players Inc. from Upper Deck SP. Definitely take that one. Oh my gosh, it's stuck, stuck. What in the world? Such a weird setup. Okay. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really get it. Uh, this is not numbered, but it's pretty awesome. I do like that. 
And we got Pablo Lopez that they snuck in there. I guess we'll just, we're just going to put Matt Forte in, in there. How about that? And then we got Old School. We got Yaz. And Joe Montana. I don't know. Is there anything going on with this Yaz? It's red, white, and blue. And it's an insert, but I don't see, not numbered. Okay, well, you know, uh, it's not terrible. Uh, my favorite cards are probably this Herman Moore and that Norm Cash. I do like the Ant-Man rookie, the T-Law rookie. Oh yeah, and the Nolan Ryan card is pretty cool. Definitely like that. Uh, not, you know, not too bad. Uh, do I feel like I got my money's worth? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Um, you know, I don't know. I thought it would be something fun to kind of try. And so, uh, yeah. Will I do it again? No. I will not. Um, if you're interested in knowing who the, the seller is, just let me know. I'll... I'll include that information, but, um, all right, that's it for now. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.